Moving on, one of the world's classic wine brands is now in the West African market. This was revealed recently at a media launch by Lots Promotion Limited, the Nigerian company that secured the exclusive franchise for West Africa. Blue Nun is a global brand with German origin and it is one of the world's oldest brands and it was launched into the global market in 1921. We are here to finally announce to you that Lost Promotions Limited, a business promotions and facilitation company, is now the exclusive franchise owner for the world famous Blue Nun. Okay, I will further explain that all Blue Nun wines are produced using Sichel's superior vinification method. Blue Nun being a unique product with the 24 karat gold flakes in the drink that is edible. None of our competitors have that quality. So they have their own quality, but we, I believe we have more advantage of the karat gold in the drinks that is edible that is provable and that is the quality that we have that our competitors need to beat us. So we are the first to have it in Nigeria. The media was informed that Lost Promotion Limited is working closely with a German company with Nigerian ownership, Sintense Group, to ensure a successful and effective market entry. We are the sole franchise owner in Nigeria and the whole of West Africa. So the whole of Africa, West African countries, yes, but we want to launch in Nigeria first. And we are looking forward to doing the launching, the proper launching of the products in Nigeria, sometimes in August or September. The media launch of Blue Nun was attended by Nollywood star Yomi Fash Lanso and Bola Tiso Shewumi, popularly known as Miss Pepeye. They do endorse the brand. It's called in between two brands of champagne. I don't want to name names now. Because it's this champagne that is very hard. And this one is very soft. As in, when, it, when you take it, it's softer. And it's not as well, but so it's coming in between the two. Then when you have a feel of it, you are balanced. And I think it's amazing. I think it's lovely. I think it's what um, Nigerians can embrace without fear.